Welcome back to DMAX Man Gaming. I'm your host, DMAX, and here we believe gaming is a lifestyle, not a hobby. Welcome back, guys. And today, I want to talk about one of the announcements from the State of Play from Sony yesterday. A huge announcement. I have to say the State of Play yesterday was pretty good. I'll be doing a video on that this week as well, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But today, I want to talk about one particular announcement. And the announcement was that the remind the DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3 will be coming out January 23rd, 2020 for those who own the PlayStation 4 and for those who own it on the Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, you'll be getting the DLC in February. So really excited about that because a lot of us have been hearing a lot of information about this um, DLC remind and what it was going about and it says it's going to have load tons of more content, more Keyblades and new, and new playable characters you can play. So a lot of us was really wondering about what this um, DLC was going to be and how much time, how much gameplay going to be in it, how much content going to be in this DLC. And we heard the announcement yesterday from um, Square Enix on Sony's State of Play stream, which was awesome. But on top of that, there has been some information within the gaming industry from journalists that was talking to Square Enix about this new DLC. And I came across some articles that gave me some more information about the DLC itself. How much the DLC gonna cost? What 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 kind of content gonna be in the DLC, and things like that. And I have a link to all that information in the description box below. If you guys check out, I recommend reading it after you watch this video, so you can know exactly where I got my information from. Any more information you wanna know, you can check out the articles where I got my information from in the description box below. So let's talk about what is this DLC gonna be? Is it gonna be expansion pack? Is it gonna just tell a different story? Is it gonna tell someone else's perspective throughout the story? What is the DLC gonna be about? Which a lot of us in the gaming industry was wondering. A lot of the gaming community was pondering as well. A lot of speculations and things. But we finally got some concrete information. So the the DLC Remind um, that's coming out January 23rd, 2020 for the PlayStation and in February for the Xbox. It's going to be a continuation from the main story. Now what's going to be amazing about this story is that we're going to have cameos from the Final Fantasy characters. Which was lacking and missing in Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, we didn't see a lot of cameos from Final Fantasy characters. And I don't know about you guys, but for me as a um, Kingdom Hearts fan, I love Kingdom Hearts because they have a cross of Final Fantasy characters and a cross of Disney characters. There was more Disney characters in Kingdom Hearts 3 than actual Final Fantasy characters. And a lot of us was wondering about what's going on Square Enix. But in this DLC that was coming out for Square Enix for Kingdom Hearts 3, There'll be a cameo for the Final Fantasy character. You'll be able to play as new characters as well, like Kari and Riku and Aqua, which is awesome. I'm sure there's gonna be other characters as well, because we've seen the trailer that they showed yesterday that you was playing more than playing with more than just Aqua and Riku and Kari. So that's awesome. And it also is going to kind of tell us, fill us in what happened to um Sora when he went looking for Kairi. Because you know, towards the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, Sora went looking for Kari after the big battle. And then we get, we cut to a cutscene where Kari was there on the beach with everybody else, but Sora was not there, and Kari was crying. And a lot of us in the gaming community that watched that scene, heart dropped, cr started crying because Sora's a beloved character in the um, Kingdom Hearts series that we love. I mean, we experienced just as much as he has throughout the journey, and for him to be gone. Well, in this DLC, they will be letting us know exactly what happened when he went looking for her, and we're looking for the other Kingdom Hearts um characters that are part of the the team of light which will be awesome and you'll be able to play as other characters within that um dlc part um this part of the main story which i thought was awesome i'm really excited about that and we also be getting some new keyblades which will be cool we get us um we get more information about the secret ending so i'm just really i'm really psyched about that and we also be getting uh, um some more information about that that Character that you've seen as part of that game in a in a Toy Story world, you know, character that looked like um, Sora a little bit. We'll be getting more information about him as well within this DLC, which I think is awesome. And we'll get to play as um, not only Sora, Riku, Kairi, Aqua, which is one of my favorite characters. Really excited about that. Really excited about that. But the only thing people are really upset about in I understand where they're coming from after finding out exactly how much is this DLC going to cost us. Well, there's two different tiers for DLCs for Kingdom Hearts 3 R Remind DLC. And we're going to talk about them two um, tiers right now and kind of tell you that I feel like it's well worth the money. So the first tier is called Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC for $29.99. And you get the main story. You get new playable characters like Kyrie and Riku. You get a limited cut episode and three boss, 13 boss battles, a secret ending in boss battle. 
You get a diverse of difficulty levels and new gameplay challenges. You get a data greeting feature. You get a slash show feature for um, phone mode. And you get a premier menu, which means the menu when you start the game will be different from Kingdom Hearts 3, which I think is awesome. And we're talking about diverse difficulty. That means it's going to be newer, harder levels for you to play on, which will give you more of a challenge, which I think is exciting. For Kingdom Hearts fans out there, we love a real challenge when it comes to that game because with uh, with turning up the difficulty unlocks new things new bosses new um story that we may have missed out playing straight through normal so if you're gonna have a diverse um of difficulty levels in this new dlc this is gonna be awesome and so that's for 29.99 now they have another tier where it's called kingdom hearts 3 remad dlc plus concert video now with ten dollars more you get 19 tracks of the um, concert video. You get this main story update, new abilities, new keyblades like the Oath Keeper and Oblivion, but they must be unlocked. You get some new key. You get a new keyblade form change and unannounced free DLC version 1.07, which I think is real worth it. Now a lot of people that I've been talking to um, in my community feel like, well, that's kind of high price for some DLC, but we know Square Enix have always made DLC that was worth the price that it was asking. I have never played a, a um, Square Enix game where the DLC that was asking for the content was not worth it at all. Now, if you guys in the comment section below had some experience like that, let me know the game that came from Square Enix, the DLC that was not worth the price in the, in the comment section below, and I can check that out for myself because I have never came across a Square Enix game that had DLC or expansion pack um, connected with a game that was not worth the price they was asking. They were asking for 30 and 40 dollars and you get a lot. I mean that's a lot of content that you're getting for 30 to 40 bucks, which makes the game about 100 to 90 dollars. Which is not 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 bad at all. And I'd rather pay these high prices to get a full game than to get um a cheaper game and bits and pieces of a game that was already inside the game. And I feel like this is not part of the game. I feel like these are new um, gameplay elements and new story that was not in the main game and going to fill in a lot of myths and blanks for that story because there was a lot of uh, a lot of unanswered information throughout that story if you played through it. And I have played through it several times. So trust me, I feel like it's well worth it and I can't wait to get my hands on it. And I'm just really excited because I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan and I know a lot of people in the gaming community love the Kingdom Hearts 3. We thought it was a masterpiece. Great graphics. Nice gameplay elements, new new um, challenges you can meet, and a killer story. I mean, the story was really sad for a lot of us. And they're promising more information about a secret ending, uh, actual uh, playable characters that you can play as within the story that we missed out on when we played the main story. New key plays, new form change, uh, 19 tracks of concert video, which we love Human Heart Music in the first place, so I'm thinking these tracks are going to be amazing as well. Or they may be behind the scenes. Who knows? It's a lot of stuff that's going to be given to us with this DLC that I think is well worth the action price. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you excited about Remind, the DLC coming for Kingdom Hearts 3? Are you going to be getting it? Or are you going to wait to after people play and give you their thoughts on it before you purchase? Or are you just going to wait until it all come into a special edition? You can get it for a cheaper price. Let me know, guys. Let me know, let me know all you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And let me know if you are if you are excited about it or not. And let me know if you feel like Square Enix is asking too much for the DLC itself. But other than that, I'm just super excited about it and want to know your guys' thoughts. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the channel. Make sure you share it. It also helps us as well. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the Max Man Gaming because me and the Max Gamer got some more content coming out pretty soon. And some new formats that we're still working at. But starting next year in 2020... The next couple, of, the next in the middle of that month, we're gonna be doing new formats for you guys to tell us what you think about it. A lot of new cool stuff happening for us that we're really excited about, and we really appreciate all y'all support and love. And we really just want to make the best content we can for you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Hit that notification bell when you need to be notified. We'll have more content. Stay safe, keep gaming. I'm out. I'll talk to you guys later.